Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's go. Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about face expressions. This is an important thing we need for our animation project. So, how we can do that with AI? Live Portrait. Yes, it has been out, and it's a very good solution for us. Live Portrait is an AI power tool for creating animated portraits from steel images. It's designed to bring static photos to life by adding realistic movements and expressions. You can upload a photo or video, and the AI will animate it typically added movements like blinking, head tilts, subtle, and facial expressions. So, let's take a look at what these workflows have to offer. I just want to give you a heads up. I did notice that if your video footage has a lot of head movement, your video won't look so good. So, I would try to make sure that the person acting out the expressions keeps their head in one place. For the most part, some people even use a camera tracking technique that locks the head in place. You've probably seen this before, since a lot of TikToker use it, and it gives decent results, but it's still not the best. And these workflows are pretty straightforward setting up. There are other workflows created by PG that allow video to video setups, and that's not so easy to get going. I will teach you how to set that up at the end of this video, just in case you're interested in that. So, let's go ahead and install Advanced Life Portrait. You can start by going to Manager. You go to Custom Nodes, and just search for Advanced Live Portrait. And then, you put Install. Then you just restart it, and make sure you update, also that you're up to date with everything. Let's just try what we can have by dragging the workflow. I think it's the basic version. I'm going to put an image right here. A lot of people use this kind of image because this is the examples of that are being passed around. And if I just run this in the Q prompt, it's going to already give me an animation. And that's what it's doing. I put the AAA parameter set of 120. And that's why when you queue this up, it shows you what this setting is doing to the source image, where it says original source motion zero. And then we have motion one right here. It tells us what these numbers represent. So it says that the first number represents motion index. Motion one, you got this one zero. The other numbers like this 120. So the result is quick after the first loading. We see that it is quite simple. From an image, we have an animation which getting mouth opening as if he's saying A. Let's try with E. I put the E E E parameter set of 15. It's okay. Let's try with Wu. I also put the parameter set of 15. It's worked good. Let's test with a smile. I reset other parameters. Put smile at the maximum and Q prompt. What if you combine other parameters to this motion? Like getting mouth opening as if he's saying E, Wu, or have him raise his eyebrows, tilt his head, but all those things will happen together at the same time. It's look good. Let's try with rotation. Make it an 8 and Q prompt. So it's not okay in the final video. We have this part of hair fix. What if we change CFG? It doesn't change anything. Let's try with rotate pitch. No, it's the same thing.
We also have video to video, where you can do the dialogue a lot faster and easier. Still, it's a very, very cool tool if you really want to see what every all the parameters do. You can always use the basic simple expression workflow. So let's try with this workflow. We just have to put an image and a video source. I will put all the links in the video description. Then QPropt. Let's try with another image. I drag and drop a woman image and Q prop. I think you can keep adding more of these nodes so you can have more options because, you know, the eyes and the mouth are already kind of going all crazy. I just look forward to seeing this even better in the future. As you see, what we have is enough for our needs. All expressions are well transferred to our image. This will save time during the animation. We have the output in GIF. I put it on video for better quality. As you can see, there's a lot of little cool things you can do. It's kind of crazy. So like I said earlier, a person that goes by Kaji, the person responsible for making so many things possible in Comfy UI, has developed nodes and workflows for some even more advanced ways of using live portrait, like video to video. Again, this setup is not as straightforward as the one I just talked about. Let's go over how to get this going. You will find the links to everything in the description. So go to this GitHub page by Kaji and go to code and copy this address. Then go to your comfy custom nodes folder and on the address bar type and CMD then enter. And this will open the command prompt then type in git clone. By the way, to use this, you're going to have git installed. So if you haven't installed it, there's a link in the description where you can install it and paste the address you just copied by pressing Searle V, then press enter. Then let's go to this page to install inside face, which you will need for this to work. Go down to troubleshoot and follow these steps. Go to your root folder, which is your main comfy UI folder and type CMD in your address bar, then enter and paste this in the command prompt and press enter. This will show you which version of Python you have based on which version you have. You will have to download from one of these links. In my case, it's 3.11. Choose the one that matches the version of your Python and save it in your comfy UI root folder again. And open the command prompt using the same root folder and paste this and press enter. Then after that, come here and look for your version of Python and copy and paste this to your command prompt and press enter. After this, you should be set. Let's go to the custom node folder again and look for the live portrait KJ folder. If you go to the examples folders, you will find some workflows you can use. You can also find some images and videos to play around with in the assets examples folder. So either drag or load one of these workflows into your comfy UI browser. And you might still have some red nodes. So go to your manager install missing custom nodes. Install whatever is missing and restart. So just to let you know, when you run this workflow for the first time, it may take a little bit longer because it's automatically downloading some models for you. For this video example workflow, you can upload a video here in this top input of a person moving. And the second input, you could put the expressions you want that moving person to have like this example I'm showing here. You also have this frame load cap node, which represents how many frames will be generated. So if you have a longer video, you can bump this number up. So 
Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Like always, take care and see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, keep in touch.